Hey, welcome. It's good to have you watching. Thank you for your time. And I hope that something of what I have to say would encourage you and, and help you thrive in the midst of wherever you find yourself. And I just wanted to speak briefly on something I, I, I touched on, I guess, last time. A number of you have messaged me and asked me whether I would uh, just unpack some of that a little bit more. And, and, and by all means, I, I don't mind doing that at all. Uh, it's on that whole issue of leading yourself well. Uh, what does it mean to lead yourself well? I sort of touched on identifying those trigger points in your life that stop you from doing it, but I think we should put it in a more positive perspective, I guess. And and, and I've been thinking about it, and I, I guess part of my thinking has, uh, against the backdrop of what a German-American uh, 20th century theologian, well, theologian philosopher, a guy called Paul Tillich wrote once. He, he wrote a lot of books. Uh, he, he wrote uh, some, some fairly significant works, in fact. Uh, one of the things that I remember reading in, in one of his books was that he, he said, suffering introduces you to yourself and reminds you that you're not the person that you thought you were. And, and isn't that being the case in this time of lockdown, that we've discovered things about ourselves that perhaps we we'd lost sight of and we're reconnecting with some, some good things about ourselves, who we are, what our passions are, what makes us tick, uh, what, what really gets us excited in life, as well as bringing to the surface some things that perhaps we need to deal with and, and we need to let go of, we need to address, or, or we need to manage because there are some things about ourselves that, that, I, um, that we can't actually change, we just have to learn to manage, in, in my experience. And, and I think that there's a real art in, in recognising the difference between what we have to learn to manage and what we can actually change. But, but when I talk about managing yourself well or, or leading yourself well, uh, what, I, what I really mean is about um, to lead yourself well is to hold yourself accountable uh, to what you believe, uh, to hold yourself accountable to what you value and to your goals and, and to that, your sense of purpose in life. Uh, to lead yourself well is to, to help, is to make sure that all of those things that you believe and value and your sense of purpose, that you live out of those things intentionally and deliberately and, and purposefully. Uh, and I think to do that, that there are there are three things uh, that you really need to to engage with and to think about. Uh, the first of those is you've got to have clarity. Uh, when I talk about clarity, what I mean is you've got to have clarity about uh, about who you are, because I think the the reason so many of us struggle and the reason that so many of us uh, get bent out of shape and so many of us fail to achieve all of that we want to achieve and and why. Perhaps we end up becoming a little bit disillusioned in life and, and certainly with other people is, is because just through the socialization process, through, through this thing called life, I think so many of us actually live out of, out of who we're not rather than who we are. Uh, we, we live out of the sense of uh, ex the expectation of others. We, we have this idea that others expect us to be like whatever it is looks like for you, and, and so that's what we try and live out of. Uh, you have a picture of what it means to be a good husband, a good father, and you try and live out of that. And, and I'm not saying that's wrong, but, but, but that's not the best starting point. I mean, another way that we, we, we live out of who we're not is that we, we live out of who we've been told we are. And, and, and people mean well at times, but, but sometimes it, it doesn't actually help us. And, and long story short, I think you need to clarify who you are, because when you clarify who you are, you know who you're not. And, and that's tremendously liberating, because when you know who you're not, you stop trying to live out of that, because you, you no longer feel that driven by those things and the needs to, to be something that, that other people want you to be. You, you, you become who you are. And, and I think that's really important because um, when you get clarity about who you are, uh, it actually just changes everything. And when I talk about who you are, I mean clarity about you know what you really believe and, and, and why you believe it and how that shapes your values and, and shapes your understanding of, of life and your sense of purpose and call. Because uh, these things are all vital because when you live out of that, uh, you're living out of, out of who you are. And, and as I say, it's tremendously liberating. Uh, a few years ago, I came to the realization that who I was and, and who I was living out of weren't the same. And, and when, I, when I made a conscious decision to stop being who I wasn't, uh, by definition, it created some limitations for me because who I am is bounded, it's limited. Uh, for better, for worse, it's, it's, 
that's who I am. So that meant I no longer had to try and, and be something. And so I, I, I didn't feel I, I had to be the best at this. I didn't feel I had to be good at that. I had to be the best version of me that I could be. And, and that's what I mean by clarity. Who are you? What is it that you believe and why? And how does that shape your values and your, your understanding of your sense, uh, yourself and your sense of purpose in life? And when you get clarity around that, uh, you can actually move to the next one, which is, uh, I, I guess I would call it integrity. And when I talk about integrity, uh, I'm really talking about wholeness. You know, some of you remember maths, and maybe for some of you it was a, a better experience than others. Uh, but remember, there was all those maths lessons around fractions and versus whole numbers and, and all those things. And, and an integer was, uh, was really a whole number, well, by and large, of course, you got the negative version of the whole number, but I don't know what you call that. Uh, but, but when we talk about integrity, we're talking about being whole. Uh, and, and so when I talk about integrity, it means about, um, you know, uh, are my actions uh, are consistent with what I believe and, and, and what I value? Um, does the way that I live my life, uh, am I living it out of the wholeness of who I am? Is, it, is there consistency uh, around everything that I do? And, and when, I, when I achieve that, it, it, it changes so much in my life. And when I talk about leading yourself well or managing yourself well, uh, it's about identifying those pressures that would seek to get us to be less than who we are, to, uh, to compromise our, our, our beliefs and our values for the sake of expediency, for, for the sake of peace, uh, for, for whatever sake. And every time you do that you, and, and you cut shortcuts, you're actually denying who you are. And that means that in, invariably when you seek to influence and lead others, uh, there's going to become a, an opening that can become a gap as people see that something doesn't quite line up. And you've been there, I've been there, and we all wrestle with it. But but this is part of what I mean to lead yourself well. Uh, and, and the third area that I think is, is, is really important, uh, if you're going to lead yourself well, if you're going to manage yourself well, so that you can lead uh, and manage others in a, in a constructive way, in a positive way, that's going to bring the best out of them, and instead of just trying to get them to follow whatever it is you want them to do, if you're going to draw the best out of them because you're drawing the best out of yourself, uh, after you've got clarity, after you've developed integrity, uh, and, and they're all connected really, they overlap, is this whole thing of, of follow through. And, and by that I mean that that you follow through on what you believe, you follow through on your, your values, you follow through on, on that living out of that sense of who you are and, and, and your calling in life if you will, your, your, your sense of purpose in life. Uh, so often what happens is we, we lack follow through, we, we clarify who we are and we, we, seek to, uh, we seek to be whole, we seek to conduct ourselves with integrity, be consistent, but, but we struggle to follow through with that because of other things that are happening in our life. And, and it comes back to what I said before. I think part of the, the struggle that we have to uh, that we have is recognizing the things that we can change versus the things that we have to learn to manage. And, and I think follow through involves uh, recognizing what do I need to change to be able to follow through, but also what do I need to manage so that I can follow through. And, and if you can get these three down, then, then, then you're well on the way to, to leading yourself well. And, and to help you do that, um, here's two questions that I ask myself uh, to get better uh, clarity around who I am, to, to examine myself in terms of uh, how am I going to follow through and all those things. And there's just two questions. You know, it's not complicated. It's, if it was complicated, I, I wouldn't learn, I wouldn't grow, I couldn't understand it. Um, the, first, the first question really is that I wrestle with is... Um, I guess, you know, it's this whole idea of, of what do you bring to the world? What do you bring to, to the table uh, that, that makes a difference? And, and I know it's easier said than done, but, but if you can wrestle with that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to really help you uh, with these, those first three areas because I believe that we're all created uniquely and we're all created wonderfully. That's, that's what the scriptures teach us, and, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm fundamentally committed to that. That's, that's the bedrock. For me, so that means that that I, I, God created me and wired me and, and put me together in a way to to make a difference. That that if I don't contribute to the world in some way, then then it's going to it's going to have an impact. It might not be it might be a negligible impact, but 
But I'm part of I'm part of something bigger. I'm part of the solution, not not part of the problem. Uh, because we're all unique. We all have something to offer. And and. And when you can answer that, this is part of what self-awareness is about uh, um, and, and getting clarity around who you are. It just helps you narrow uh, that, that the field, of, um, if you will, in terms of, okay, this is who I am, so I don't have to worry about trying to be this person or that person. Um, and, and I'll be upfront, it's, this, this is not just a five-minute exercise. It does take a while. It's a, in fact, for me, it's a lifelong thing. I keep going back, and I just want to hone it and hone it and hone it and hone it. Uh, and the second, the second question I ask myself is, um, is, is what is life asking of me? I guess would be the best way of phrasing it. Um, so often we, we, we go through life as though we, you know, we're told we're brought up, I guess, as the world is your oyster. You know, in other words, you're at the center and you just, what do you want to do in life? And what do you want to do with your, with, with, with the future and, and all those sorts of things? Um, I, I think it's better to turn it on its head and instead of asking, uh, you know, what can the world do for me? Uh, turn it on its head and just say to you, say, because I'm unique, uh, because I am who I am, what's the world need from me? Um, what, what's it demanding of me? Uh, what's it, what does it require of me uh, that, that only I can offer, so to speak? This is about clarifying uh, purpose and, and, and all those sorts of things. Um, you see, you have something that the world needs. You have something that that I need. You have something that 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 the rest of us need. It's that's why God's made you the way He has. And if you can get clarity around that, uh, then you're going to be a long way down the track in terms of understanding who you are, what what your purpose in life is, and you, out of that you can lead yourself well and and manage yourself in such a way that that you will lead and influence others rather than being influenced by others. So, so um. That, that in a nutshell, uh, that, that's what I mean by, by leading yourself well, by managing yourself well. I hope it's helpful. I uh, look forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, uh, enjoy uh, whatever it is that you're going to do now.